Shalom, shalom. In today's message, I want to talk to you about something that's very prevalent amongst our youth, and they don't see that they've been snared or in a trap until it's too late. Let's talk about it. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I'm going to post a video in here from the female rapper Sukiana, you know, pretty much giving confession that she sold her soul. She entered in a contract with Hasatan. And, um, you know, she's known for her ratchetness, you know, uh, her, her vulgarity, you know, not being meek and modest, you know, that's her whole persona. And, um, you know, recently she was on the red carpet on the ground twerking and that's what she caught the most heat for. But I want you to pay attention to what she's saying, you know, about selling her soul and about Hasatan making a deal so good that she couldn't resist it. This stuff is happening all in the music industry, all in the entertainment industry. When you see these people, these gatekeepers, you know, of, of billion dollar uh, movie corporations, you having to go through the gate and these people saying, you know what, you're kind of talented. We want to give you an opportunity, but we got to play with your butthole in order for you to get this million dollar payday. Man, at that point, people don't realize they're entering into a, a, a contract with Hasatan that's gonna damn them. You know, you already damned, you know, by way of Adam and Eve in the garden, and it's not until you're born again, you know, you repent from your sins, have your mind renewed, and are walking in them commandments, them statutes and precepts, you know, until you have returned to the covenant. Man, Hasatan, you know, is not gonna try to is not gonna try to man Hasatan's main goal is to confuse you let me normalize evil let me normalize you know wickedness let me bring confusion amongst the truth that way nobody knows what the truth is the truth is harder to find let me give you a deal to where the biggest payday of your life will come on Saturday a day, you know, that you're supposed to be keeping the Sabbath until sunset, but I'll give you the biggest payday so you break these commandments. You know, I'll give you the biggest opportunity of your life if I can get you to dishonor your parents as a woman to bring shame upon your father, as a son to bring shame upon, you know, your mother and father. Give you an opportunity where you can't turn down this overtime. You know, you'll work yourself to death behind this opportunity. And there is no victory signing a contract with Asatan. You know, this Shabbat, I'm going to be talking about sons of perdition. Because Sukiana is not the only one that has fell into this trap. Chances are, you got people around you that's in this trap. It may not be, you know, a million dollar uh, opportunity or things like that. But listen to me, Hasatan has sold a lot of women a bad contract to where they will turn against their covering, which is their husband, turn against their kids and say, you know what? Forget keeping this house. Forget what the wise woman does building the house. I'm just going to destroy this thing so I can do me. These young boys listening to this rap music, these rappers try to sound like they got wisdom, but they're the ones setting the verbal snares for our youth. Verbal snares. And it's all, you know, ways to get you focused on wickedness. They joke is talking about 
doing all these drugs, all this fornication. You call it entertainment, but you start moving in that spirit. You know, man, you got to wake up out here and truly return to that covenant or else you will remain in captivity. Them plagues going to keep finding you. Them tribulations going to keep finding you. Rather than them, you know, just going from house to house, you know, every once in a while you get a tribulation, they're all going to come your way. They're all going to come your way. And because, you know, if you have been ensnared and you've turned your doggone ears away from hearing the law, it makes no sense for you to pray. It says he's going to, he's not going to hear your prayer. Your prayers are even an abomination. You know, the biggest snare out there is religion. You mean to tell me, you know, you can just claim to have faith and go to church for two hours on a day that ain't commanded and you think that's good enough to get into the kingdom. You might want to wake up because if you take that concept, you got dead faith. You know, if you think you don't have to obey the commandments found in the law, man, you as, you as good as going already. You know, I'm only posting Sukiana in here as an example, but this same thing applies to men. Men selling their soul for money, for fame. Your kids, you gotta watch out. You know, Hasatan is constantly probing at them. Them boys, Island boys, said they sold they soul to go viral. Some of that nonsense they talking about. You know, Hasatan sitting up there plotting on your kids. Hey, you know, if you do this crazy right here, I know your parents told you not to do it, but if you do this, I'll let you go viral. You know what, if I get you to smoke this dope, you know, your life is gonna change. You'll have all the success you want. Man, you better wake up out here. You better pay attention. The writing is on the wall. The, the guy from Snowfall said he was in a doggone uh, 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 middle of a scene and he couldn't get his character, he couldn't portray the character that he was supposed to do. What did he do? That joker said he called on the doggone devil. Man, you got everybody out here that claims to be hearing from God, but you always find that a lot of these people that are hearing from God are void of fearing Yah and keeping his commandments. They're hearing everything that contradicts the word. Might want to watch out. Let me play that clip. Closer to God Ministries, kicking the gun barrel straight. And I'm sorry for what I'm about to say, but as far as this music stuff, I won't be doing this music stuff anymore. I started this because this is my dream. And, you know, I wanted to make sure I could get me and my kids out the hood. It's, it's always been my passion to rap. A while ago, I had signed a contract, and I didn't know nothing about the business or the, or, or the or this game out here. And just like me, you know, I'm realizing that I signed my soul. I, I sold my soul to the devil. I signed myself to the devil. I don't even own myself no more. I don't. I sold my soul to the devil, and I pray. I pray, and I pray, and I pray. <laughs> I'm sorry. 